Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video I would like to talk about using binoculars like these ones for astronomy. So when getting into astronomy you have two different options to get started. You can start by buying a beginner telescope or binoculars like these ones. So in this video I would like to show you three different binoculars of mine and I would like to talk about these three ones and I would like to give you my final opinion and why I believe that this one is the best of my three. I would also like to talk about advantages and disadvantages of using binoculars for astronomy, especially at the beginning, and I would like to talk about what is important to know when buying binoculars, and in the end I would like to give you a few objects you can observe with your binoculars in the night sky. All that and everything right after the intro. This video is not sponsored, not being paid for it. All products shown in this video were purchased by Maziev, but now I'd like to start by introducing the three binoculars I'm using. So now I'd like to start with the very first of my three binoculars. So this one is a 10 by 25 binocular. So these two numbers are very, very important when buying binoculars for astronomy, for example. Um, the very first one is the magnification. So this one has a 10 times magnification, which is actually pretty much, but this one, the big one, has a bit more. And the second one is um, the diameter of the optical component in the front. This is something that is very, very important. In order to understand the importance of the diameter of the classes, we have to um, look at the objects we're observing. So, for example, if you're observing objects in nature, these objects are very, very bright. But when, op when observing objects in the night sky, these are very, very dark. And therefore, it's very important to get as much light as possible into um, these binoculars. So that means a bigger diameter of the optical component means, means more light coming into these classes, which means um, that you will see more details. As I mentioned, these objects in the night sky are very, very dark, and therefore it's very important to gather as much light as possible. And therefore, a bigger class is more important. And you can see that there's a big difference between these classes and these ones. And why, that's why this one, these classes are much better for astronomy. So these classes are way smaller compared to these ones, which means that this one is way better for astronomy. But you have to keep in mind that these binoculars are more expensive than these ones. The second binocular I would like to introduce um, is this one. This one is a 10, 10 by 50. So we have the same magnification once again, but this time, but this time the diameter is bigger. So you can see um, we are getting closer to that one. These are binoculars I definitely recommend for, as, for, for astronomy, um, but still we will gather more light with these ones, but these can already be used for astronomy. So I'm currently using these binoculars for observing the night sky, the Milky Way, and other objects. The big advantage of this one, for example, is that it's not that heavy compared to this one, which means in this case, you do not have to use a tripod. In this case, you, I definitely recommend using a tripod because these are too heavy to hold them. So when holding these binoculars, you're moving all the time and you will not get uh, that clear view of the night sky. But in this case, you can hold it like that because it's not that heavy, which is why I recommend a 10 by 50 binoculars for astronomy. But you will definitely get more light gathering power with these binoculars. So when getting into astronomy and would like to observe objects and galaxies, for example, I would definitely rather go for binoculars like these ones. I mean, the disadvantage is definitely that they are very heavy, heavy, and um, you need a tripod. At least I definitely recommend it. But still you have a lot of light gathering power, which is very important when observing those objects in the night sky. Um, so these binoculars are 20 by 80 or binoculars by Presum. So these are definitely binoculars I recommend. So as mentioned, these are 20 by 80, which means we have 20 times magnification. So the other two, the other two binoculars had magnification of 10 times, which is not that much compared to these ones. And these 20 times magnification is actually fantastic. So I've even tried observing the moons of Jupiter. So I was actually able to see five moons of the planet Jupiter, which shows that 20 times magnification on binoculars is impressive. So even when observing deep sky objects such as the Orion Nebula, for example, we will get a better view with these ones because the object will appear very big in your field of view. In this case, we have 80 millimeters of diameter of these classes, which means that these binoculars have a lot of uh, light coming through, which means that you can see a lot of different objects. So when looking on these three different binoculars, I definitely think that these binoculars are the best of mine. So if just in case you're looking for binoculars for astronomy, I would definitely recommend these ones. So just in case you have questions about 
these kind of binoculars, definitely feel free to write these questions down below in the comments. I have already created a video about these binoculars, so if you're interested, feel free um, to watch this video. I will link the video in the end of this video, and you can see the video um, here as well. But now there might be the question, why is it great to get started with binoculars into astronomy? Well, that's quite easy to answer, because um, these objects, these binoculars, are very easy to use. So when start, starting with a telescope, for example, it's a bit more complex, but still is okay. But using these binoculars, it's way easier, and it's easier to set them up, because you just have to attach them on the tripod in this case, and you are already ready to get started with observing night sky. So my big telescope, for example, I only use this telescope when there are a few hours of clear skies in the night. Um, only then I set up my telescope. But this one, you can as well use these binoculars uh, if you have only half an hour of time observing the night sky. So it's definitely way easier to use these binoculars for observing the night sky. The other aspect is definitely the price. So these binoculars are definitely not that expensive compared to telescopes. So there are definitely a few advantages of using them. But now there might be the question, which objects can I now observe with these? Well, now I would like to give you a few objects I have observed with these binoculars in night sky and with these as well. And these are objects you can observe with your binoculars in night sky as well. So my first object I'd like to introduce is the Orion Nebula. This is a very, very big and bright object that is located in the Orion constellation. So the image you're currently seeing was captured with my big telescope that I'm currently using for astrophotography. So this object is very easy to find because it's that bright and I've even uh, observed it with these kind of binoculars and you can see very fine structures in that nebula. But definitely make sure to observe these objects during a new moon. So during a full moon the night gets very bright and that's definitely not much fun because you can't see that much details. So definitely plan observing these objects when there's a new moon. Furthermore, definitely try to escape the city light pollution because these aspects have definitely a negative effect on observing these objects. Another object I definitely recommend is the Pleiades star cluster. So this is a star cluster that can even see with your naked eye in the night sky and when looking through binoculars like these ones, you can see uh, even these nebula surrounding the star cluster, which is something I really find and very impressive while looking through these binoculars. Another object that's very interesting is observing the Andromeda galaxy. The galaxy is a very bright and big object in the night sky. So you can even observe it with your naked eye, but when looking through uh, binoculars like these ones, you can even see the spiral arms of that galaxy. Another object that might be really, really interesting is the North American Nebula, which is a nebula that um, can be seen during summer, for example. So especially the entire Milky Way um, region is very interesting when looking through these binoculars because you will see a lot of stars and a lot of details. So these are objects I definitely recommend observing with these binoculars. So if you have any specific questions on these three binoculars, definitely feel free to ask me down below in the comments and I'm definitely going to help you. If you found that guide helpful, I would really, really appreciate a like and subscription. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time, clear skies, Felix.